Good evening, boils and ghouls. <laughs> uh, I won't do that again. So I saw an interesting picture on Facebook yesterday about killer body counts. And I saw Jaws on there, I saw the Creeper, and I was interested, what are the top body counts? Now, for me, I'm not counting Jaws because that's the name of the different sharks, the name of the movies. He had 20 kills. Also, Hellraiser isn't going to be on this list, Pinhead, because the Cinnabites got some of the kills. Also, quote-unquote, Fate from Final Destination has 35 to 40 kills. I won't be counting that. I won't be counting the Invisible Man, who has 123 kills. And I won't be able to count Elijah Prince, who could be the kill champion, a supervillain. I mean, come on, he's killed over a thousand people just trying to find Die Hard. This is just going to be a top 10 of horror movie killers and their body counts. So starting with number 10, somebody that always scared me as a child, the Candyman. Candyman has been in three films, his kill count is 20, his weapon is his bloody hook, and his power is the control of bees. He has a bee nest in his chest. Number 9, Leatherface. How could Leatherface not be on this list? Another great horror character based off a real-life killer, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 7 films, 31 kills, the chainsaw is his weapon of choice, and he has a high threshold to pain. Plus, he was in Mortal Kombat. Number 8, Charles Lee Ray, aka Chucky from the Child's Play series. This is another movie that came out when I was young, and it freaked me out. I am not ashamed to say that this was nightmare-inducing. 38 kills, 6 films, spirit transfer, and he loves that knife. Coming in at number 7, a personal favorite of mine, King of the Horror quotes Freddy Krueger. Welcome to primetime, bitch. Freddy Krueger has been in 9 films, 42 kills, which I thought he'd have a lot more. He has the razor claw glove and he can move through your dreams. Definitely a top 3 guy, even if he doesn't have the kills. Coming in at number 6, this is a bit of a surprise to me because I haven't seen all the movies, but Ghostface from the Scream series, there was 4 movies and a television show. He's got 49, 50 kills, and uh, I think the only knock against him is he's just a normal person played by copycat killers. Number 5 goes to Lubin from the Leprechaun series. The series has gone downhill and kind of gotten jokey over the years, and the most people talk about it seems to be that Jennifer Aniston was in the first movie, but uh, you know, he's got a lot of kills, 45 kills, there's been 6 films, and WWE is trying to bring back the series. Number 4 goes to John Kramer, aka the Jigsaw Killer. I really, really enjoyed this franchise. Uh, a lot of people said that too many movies kept coming out every Halloween, but I actually enjoyed them. Really interesting kills, he's got between 50 and 60 kills across 7 movies. Number three goes to Hannibal Lecter. Now, it doesn't matter who, who's playing him or what movie he's in. I personally prefer the Anthony Hopkins Silence of the Lambs version, but this character is just crazy. Five films, a television series, 98 kills, and he'll bite your face off. Number two, another one of the heavyweights, one of the top three kings, Michael Myers from the Halloween franchise. 111 kills across 10 films, counting the remake, the Rob Zombie ones, which I thought were actually pretty good. He likes to use his knife and his bare hands, and he's got superhuman strength. This guy was in shock. And coming in at number one, my favorite, Jason Voorhees from the Friday the 13th series. He got the remake treatment too. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't great. It's hard to confirm, but he has between 145 to 300 kills across 13 movies. And that's it, guys. I know there's other horror movie slashers out there that have high kill counts as well. It's just, it was a lot of research for one day. I went through Wikipedia, YouTube, Rotten Tomatoes, bloody disgusting. All credit goes to those guys. I really appreciate everyone watching. I had a lot of fun doing this. And down in the comments, let me know, did I miss anyone? Is there any other heavy hitters that should have been on this list? Until next time, guys, thanks a lot for watching, liking, and commenting, and we'll see you next time. Happy Halloween.